only one kid in history had ever attempted what Benny was about to. And he got eaten. So we were worried. Real worried. Even when Benny brought out the secret weapon. Shoes guaranteed to make a kid run faster and jump higher. PF Flyers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Happy hump day. Uh, all that good stuff. We are back with another episode, uh, a film one, which seems to be uh, what people are feeling right now, right, Blur? Yeah, they, they seem to be in a, in a film mood and not a sneaker fashion mood, huh? and sneaker mood. Yeah. Yeah, and that's um, it's a bit of a shock because it was the other way around. Yeah. For, for a while, definitely it seemed like they, um, they wanted the, the heat. Yeah. And then um, it was like they didn't they didn't care about the films, and then I don't know. Recently, we I guess we started doing a a, a few that people actually I guess have really seen. wanted to see <laughs> yeah. or have seen, you know, or we're just gaining some type of traction. I don't, I don't know, um, but yeah, well, it just seems we're grateful for it all. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. You know, the likes to dislikes all of it. You know. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Uh, that's I appreciate another, it. Another story for another day. <laughs> um, let's get into this week's review. Um, last week or two weeks ago, we did a trailer reaction to the movie Pieces of a Woman. Mm -hmm. uh, this time, this episode, we've seen it. We're going to review mm -hmm. it. going to give you guys our thoughts and whether mm -hmm. you guys should see it too. Uh, quick summary, Pieces of a Woman is about a young woman whose home birth uh, turns tragic. Mm -hmm. um, and then we see the downfall of her relationships uh, with her friends, family, and uh, partner. Mm -hmm. So um, it's starring, sorry, Vanessa Kirby, Shia LaBeouf, Sarah Snook, Benny Safdie, Ellen Bernstein, Eliza Schlesinger, uh, who I was shocked to see in this movie because she is a comedian. Very funny. Check out her stuff. It's on Netflix. It's hilarious. Okay. Uh, she's very funny. That's the sister because I know you didn't know who she was. <laughs> no, I didn't know who she was. No. Um, but yeah, shocked to see her doing some dramatic roles. Um, but anyways, uh, great cast. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's get into initial thoughts. Once we saw the trailer, Blair, what were your thoughts? She was kind of hyped, if I remember. <laughs> I don't know about hyped, but yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say I wouldn't <laughs> say hyped. I, I said that I did like the idea of doing a trailer where the movie just sort of fits a vibe, you know, where you just get a clip of something and don't really um, give too much in the trailer because the problem is is that with trailers is you know, I guess they end up being two minutes. I don't, I don't know if that's the standard runtime, and that's what it needs to be. You know, if we yeah, can make it know. shorter, let's do it. Um, but yeah, so if, you know, the trailers end up being like two minutes long, and you kind of can piece the movie together. And so I guess pieces of a woman was fitting for us to not be able to piece too many things together. And um, with the uh, the the trailer that they gave us, it was like just enough where it was like, dang, obviously. You know, something went down, mm -hmm. uh, what's going on in the courtroom. And I had mentioned mm -hmm. that there was a lot of focus on breathing and focus on, you know, like the thought process and things like that in the um, in the trailer when they were in the courtroom. So I was like, just by uh, shot choices, uh, I would have I would have watched the whole thing, whether it was, you know, bad, good and different, you know, just by smart uh, shot choices. You know, I would have I was down. Cool, cool. Um, for me, I think the my initial thoughts weren't good. I wasn't gonna yeah, like this. You definitely, film. you definitely had. Yeah, I was. You know, uh, you know I was on the out. opposition a little bit. I wasn't mm -hmm. feeling it. Um, I didn't like the trailer. The fact that it was like a scene. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily like that. But then again, I don't want to see the whole movie. Well, either. now that we've seen the movie, it wasn't even really a scene. It. I mean, it was. It, it was clip, barely yeah. a scene. Yeah, 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 it was barely. I a scene. mean, that was a whole thing. Yeah, that scene, but. Um, yeah, I don't really like when it's just a clip of the movie. Mm -hmm. um, but then again, I don't want to see a trailer where you kind of piece it together on your own. Mm -hmm. So I don't really know what I like when it comes to trailers. I just mm -hmm. knew that I didn't like Most that one. Don't. Yeah, so um, I wasn't excited. I knew it was just going to be a drama and, mm -hmm. you know, just depression dragged out. You can obviously see that. Um, yeah. yeah, for sure. And so I just wasn't super excited. Um, but this movie was kind of dope. Mm -hmm. That's the way I'm leaning towards. So I okay. think. You know, uh, it was the opposite of a trailer trap. You know, okay. I didn't fall into it. This time I came in with, you know, um, negative thinking, and mm -hmm. I was and actually pleasantly out. surprised yeah. Yeah. with this film. Interesting. Um, so since 
you know, we kind of liked it. And I think that's the way Blair's leaning. I'm not sure. This is my first time hearing his <laughs> thoughts. Uh, let's get into, let's do the negative first. So where did this film uh, miss for you? Um, I would say that uh, they were the, the characters or I mean, I mean, the, the, the main characters, the two main as in Shia LaBeouf and what's her name? Vanessa Kirby. Vanessa Kirby, right. Because she's like from Mission Impossible and stuff, right? Is she? Oh, I, I tried. She might to, be. I tried to do a little bit of research because you know I do not know yeah, them and I, I've I, never I, seen any of them before other than Shia LaBeouf. Look, I know, know the name, but I don't know her, yeah, her film yeah, uh, I think she's an, in anthology. Mich so like Mission Impossible 8, I don't know if it's out yet or not. Um, I didn't research that deeply, but uh, she's, she's in that 7 and 8. Uh, so anyways, well, for her as a character, I felt like for a while they were just kind of wandering around aimlessly. Um, and it took till, I guess, almost what, like, I, I want to say it was probably like 50 minutes left in the film for like her mom to sort of say something to her to sort of get her in gear. So for me, I would say, I guess that was like a long period of time mm -hmm. where there was like a lot going on, where it was not a lot going on, mm -hmm. I should say. Um, and so that was a little problematic for me because then it ended up being slow and I get it, right? Like obviously everyone knows, you know, if you read the log line uh, on IMDb, mm -hmm. the baby dies. So it's not like mm -hmm. some type of spoiler where that's like at the end of the film and yeah, that's like, what it's all about, right? 100%. But you got to understand that when you lose uh, a loved one, you know, how long is too long to grieve? How long is too long to wander around aimlessly and, and, and not have your life mm -hmm. together? You know what I mean? But here's the thing. For the sake of the film, you got to speed it up a little bit. Um, we understand, you know, what she's going through. Mm -hmm. We feel for her. Uh, we, we really do feel bad. But it's just like as an audience, it's like, look, this is also a movie. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? This is also no longer. This is not real life. As real as it feels, you know, we're like, let's pick it up a bit. Mm -hmm. So, um, I would say that, that that was probably the main issue that I really had with the film. And then obviously other than just like some characters being not likable, but again, I mean, that was how they were portrayed and you know, so that, that, that really is like my main issue, but it is a big issue, right? Because you know, that, that's when people begin to say film, the film is boring or you know, they begin to check out and they actually start to miss some of the, um, the uh, important things like later on in the film that may actually uh, allow you to like the film and enjoy the film and the deeper meaning, you know, like with the bridge and the apple and the tree and the seeds and all of that type of stuff where you may, you may check out and you're not capturing any of that because they're wandering around aimlessly for a long time. Yeah. A hundred percent agree. The main okay. problem was that this thing was drug out mm -hmm. and yeah, it was entertaining because they captured that dramatic acting really well. Mm -hmm. But we don't need to see her riding on the train sad. We don't need to see right, right. walking through the sore sad. Like, mm -hmm. let's chop it we up. We got it. We got cut it. it out. Yeah, we got Ain't it. Ain't happy. Yeah, depressed. <laughs> Baby gone. Not doing well. Yeah, like, <laughs> we got those things. We don't need to keep, like, just dragging yeah, it along. Yeah, so at, it for sure. at, like, one point, I'm like, okay, like, is something going to mm -hmm. happen? What? Where's the turning point? Where's mm -hmm. that uh, rising action going mm -hmm. into that climax? Like, where mm -hmm. are we at? Um, and I think, like, what Blair said, it, it took a while for the mom to finally step up and say her point. Mm -hmm. She was hinting at it, but she was finally, like, getting direct. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what we were looking for, because that was what moved the whole film along. Yep, yep. Um, that took to the end of the movie. Yeah. So I 100% agree with Blair on that point that it just like it was drug out. That was the only thing that was really a hit on this movie and where it really failed. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, I was trying to find things. Mm -hmm. I couldn't really. I mean, other than that, it was a pretty entertaining movie. I just think mm -hmm. there were some points where like, OK, OK, OK. Yeah. Of course, some scenes are necessary. You know, we need oh, to. Oh, without a doubt, because you know, we still got to be able to piece things together. Yeah, we got to see mm -hmm. her kind of, you know, breaking apart from her partner, breaking apart from her family. Like, we mm -hmm. have to see those things. But, you know, they can be done, you know, quickly. We got it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, yeah, I mean, I think that was the only negative yeah. for me. Yeah, 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 for me but, too. But, yeah, complete agreement with you on that. Um, so on that note, let's segue to what we think, uh, where we think the film succeeded. Uh, for me, it made me start to sort of research because I was, I was watching the film and when it got to the slow points, I started to, to think, and I was like pieces of a woman, 
you know, and then there's an album that I like that's called like Pieces of a Man uh, by Gil Scott Heron. And, you know, it's like a jazz hip hop type album. And then I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, well, there's no way that there's a connection between the two. Right. Like it's like it's not like he was like on like a John Coltrane type of popularity where like everybody knew who he was. So I was like, well, I don't think it's that. So then I start thinking, right, like because if you're listening to the film, jazz music is pretty much played throughout. It's clearly a, a, a heavy influence on this film. Um, and I'm like, okay, well, what, what can it be? And to be honest, I still don't really have it figured out as of right now, but only that's because we had, I only had one viewing on it. But um, I wonder if there's like a John Coltrane type connection, you know, and if someone Could does be. know and wants to let me know, go ahead. But that was just sort of like on my mind, and I wanted to like get that off just, you know, with the first go. Now, second... Um, I love the symbolisms, mm -hmm. like I was saying earlier with the seeds and how she put it in the, the fridge and was trying to like sort of like let things grow. Um, I like the ending. Obviously, you know, I'm, I'm assuming we're not going to say that, so I don't want to say that. But uh, I do also like the apple sort of in the, uh, the the symbolism with that, like how like Shia LaBeouf in the beginning is sort of mentioning that the apple is browning and things like that. And, you know, you just think about like life and growth, you know, and how you blossom into something and become something and it's like you have to get rid of certain things in your life yeah you know in order to like sort of like move forward so like you kind of like see those type of those, those type of symbolisms in there the building of the bridge yeah, that apple played a big role though the like, apple i was played like a huge okay role. ma'am like with the eating yeah she's uh, eating apple, apple a day really time. do right. keep that we'll doctor keep that, kept that oof, <laughs> Boy, did she it. hey <laughs> she did some research after that and was like oh i better eat an apple yeah, a day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, no, no. So I, yeah, you pick up on that symbolism, um, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's like a very over yeah. arching theme. And right. also the, the, the bridge, because yeah. the bridge is not built. Uh -huh. And then you slowly see it build, and it's like sort of like her building her life back together. And he's like a construction worker. Yeah, he's a construction ship. worker. You know, he's a bum. Um, but well, it can pay if you get if you can, get no, right. No, 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 no. I didn't mean like he was a bum yeah. like that. I just mean like again got, decision making yeah. and yeah and <laughs> things like that. Uh, so he was one of the people yeah, that yeah. I felt like was you know very like not likable again in this film. But uh, so for me, though, that was those were like the, the, the things that I did enjoy. I think that the opening was extremely dope because I was I don't know. I mean, I, obviously, every night I watched it, did notice. But it was 30 minutes that we had seen the film and no opening credits had mm -hmm. had rolled. You know, it, bas it basically gave this feeling of one long take. Now, obviously, it wasn't one long take. There was plenty of cuts in between. But after the birth, then boom open mm -hmm. credits i was mm -hmm. like let's go okay kind of i'm yeah. in there like you know i was like because i was what because i had watched it and i was thinking man where's the credits okay we ain't gonna get it cool that's like, kind of dope yeah you know and then all of a sudden they hit you with the thing and then I, so i was like okay that's a check that's another thing that has me locked in it felt very artsy with a lot of the the, the shot choices oh for sure the music choices just the the it's whole got selection. written all over it. Yeah, so it had Blair <laughs> written all over it without a doubt. Um, and then even though it was artsy, it felt very, very real. And I know that yeah, you can say it's you you know it's real, but at the end of the day, it is a movie. But it was like when you watch this movie, it really did feel like real life. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it, it, it's almost like yeah, you couldn't distinguish between the two. Uh, so yeah, I really did enjoy the film. You are correct, you know, but you obviously knew watching it like this is something that Blair is going to be into, you know, yeah, yeah. when you're watching it and yeah. the way things are playing Even out. from the trailer, I was like, okay, he might be into this. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Absolutely. it was. So, I mean, I, there really is like a lot of positive points for me yeah. uh, to, yeah, to yeah, go yeah, on. Yeah, I was like, I list. got, I, yeah, I was like, I've got plenty, plenty. I could keep going. But um, I, what I did also like is that something that's so beautiful right because this is like the greatest creation on earth right is to be able to reproduce and bring somebody into this world and so these two people came together and that is what their intent was and then when something so beautiful was only in the world for like 30 seconds and then you know disappears basically mm -hmm. now you know you begin to watch their lives self-destruct mm -hmm. sort you know per se you know they begin to retract and fall backwards and grow apart from one another right like they were coming together 
they became one and then you know mm-hmm. they started to fall apart um so that was that was also big for me as well you know it was just like you're just literally watching these couples this this couple fight now you know and uh, it, it's just like it was something that you could not you could not blame mm-hmm. you know anyone for which was also again the whole point of the film but it was just like it's an accident mm-hmm. yep and you know i i guess I'll, I'll leave i'll leave it at that but uh yeah definitely love the film um real quick before i get into what i liked i wanted to go back to the dislike and how it just was so drug out um you know how they're putting the months up on the yeah. street i lost track of time like even though they was giving you the timelines like there, september 17th november january there was barely any was time like, in between though yeah but i was just losing track so i'm like okay like it's just yeah. been so long yeah like yeah <clears throat> I'd rather um, I'm done it in like one year later, like one, yeah, two months later. Yeah, then yeah, I'm like trying really to go see. on the calendar of January, February. Yeah, like it yeah. was just too much. But, um, uh, because the first one, I believe it was only two days two, in between. Yeah, yeah. And then the the then one after was like, four, yeah, I was like, what what is going on? So, but again, yeah, it was I'm, so I'm right there drug with out you. that like yeah. it was hard to keep track of those calendars. Yeah. that you know, in those dates and months that they were giving us, so I was just mm-hmm. like, okay, just cut that part out. That mm-hmm. didn't even need to happen. Yeah, I didn't even care about the the time frame. The time we knew the time was passing. And there's plenty of other ways as a, as a storyteller exactly. to Exactly, that's where you do more of the showing the and not telling. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, you could have changed up her hair, you know, mm-hmm, like, she done had a mm-hmm. life altering, you know, yeah. thing. She and just, chopped just, her hair off or something, like, you know what I'm saying? But that just shows time passing and, you know, dealing with that kind of stuff. I mean, they even had the seasons to play with, right? They like, sure it was did. snowing, you know, and then, you know, uh, yeah. Look, call us if you want to. <laughs> if you want. I'm taking calls currently. <laughs> yeah. If you want us to show how to pass time without yeah. writing them dates, uh, yeah. you know, hit us up at slatelaced uh, yeah, gmail.com, you know? You know? Uh-huh. Anyway, um, moving on to what I do like about the film. Um, I think Blair touched on a lot of things I like, um, but number one was casting. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think good. there was a more perfect role written for Shia LaBeouf than this one right here. If, yeah, I mean, shout out to him. He he did his thing. He does. His, he's like literally one of my favorite actors. I think mm-hmm. his pers- he's personally he's like a little crazy, but he's one of my favorite actors. But uh-huh. he plays drama uh-huh. really well. I mean, you can feel his pain from mm-hmm. the screen. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think that you could have wrote a better role for him. Um, he was definitely like born to play that. Vanessa Kirby hadn't seen her in much, mm-hmm. but I'm kind of a fan now. Yeah. You know, yeah, uh, no, she was solid. She was Ellen solid Bernstein. Like I have seen her some in some things back in the day. Um, which one's that I one? think she's in what's that real famous movie? Now, who, who is she? Ellen Bernstein, yeah, which one is the she? mom? Oh, okay, oh okay. my gosh. But there's this, uh, let me now I gotta look it up because there's this really, uh, um, oh, well, it's I've never seen her in anything before. Requiem for a dream, she was she's in, in that? that, yeah, dude. She's like the main character, yeah, yeah. No, um, she wasn't, yeah, she is for real. Oh, cause she. Oh, cause it's just been so she long. She was younger, obviously. Oh, right, right. <laughs> yeah, cause it's been so nah, long. She was ninety. If- <laughs> <laughs> I just I forgot how yeah. long, cause it was like oh two when yeah, Requiem came Reckon, out. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I forgot. Um, how she much. was kind of old, but yeah, it, it was a. Uh, she was in that classic. Yeah, that movie's fire, by yeah, the way. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, um, that's a uh, definitely approved for anyone to yeah. watch that. So she's a veteran actress, um, and yeah, I mean, I think she did well with her role, kind of being, you know, a little more angry and, mm-hmm. and stuff like that mm-hmm. telling her daughter to I step up. I mean, that up. even sucked to see her going through her whole, like, dementia. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah, exactly. So, even more falling apart. So, the casting was great. Um, mm-hmm. Again, I'm a Shia LaBeouf fan, so that's kind of why I was willing to give this film a chance in the first place. I'm like, alright, let me see what he's doing. Mm-hmm. What he's up to. Um, so, cast, that was great. Um, also, just the different ways they deal with grief is what I really liked. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. it's three people. Mm-hmm. I'm the partner, or, mm-hmm. you know, boyfriend. Yeah, Shia he slips back into his old ways. Mm-hmm. He distances himself, you know, mm-hmm. does some things that, mm-hmm. you know, aren't necessarily moral. Um, then you have, I think, the uh, Vanessa Kirby's character, the mm-hmm. woman trying to just move on, mm-hmm. completely erase it. Yeah, forget it. You know, let's mm-hmm. just not even have a funeral. Let's not mm-hmm. do anything. Mm-hmm. And then you have the mom who's saying, let's, let's make someone pay. Mm-hmm. Let's stand up and fight and get mm-hmm. our compensation. Mm-hmm. Um, so she's getting pulled in all these kind of different directions at the same time, kind of trying to keep a relationship together, but then not really because they completely grow apart. 
Um, well, they already seem to be at odds from the beginning. They were they weren't solid, <laughs> but they was closer than where they mm-hmm. were. Um, but they weren't you know they weren't the perfect couple that's for sure. And I think the mom had a lot to do with that because she never yeah. really approved of him. Mm-hmm. So it's all that in the back of her mind. But I just like the three ways they deal with that grief um, because when something tragic like that happens, you, there's no right or wrong way to deal with it. Mm-hmm. Um, now mm-hmm. what they should have done was gone to therapy and got help. Because uh, that would have really, you know, saved them from a yeah. lot of heartbreak as they went throughout these fil- throughout the film. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, that's people don't necessarily just, you know, volunteer for therapy that easily. No, nah, definitely don't. You got to you kind of got to. Yeah. Or you, you got to hit rock bottom or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's where they were headed. So I like seeing that that mm-hmm. grief. Uh, Blair, you touched on the symbolism. I like the symbolism of the apple coming mm-hmm. to fruition. Literally from the start of the film, mm-hmm. it stays with it all the way to the end of the yes, film. It does. We won't get too much into it because this is just a quick review and we don't necessarily want to spoil it for you. Correct. But check it out. Let us know your thoughts on that. Um, and yeah, just the overall dramatic theme of the movie. Uh, mm-hmm. This movie makes you feel, uh, makes you sad, heart mm-hmm. like heartwarming all at the same time. Um, yeah, because you basically see two couples who start out, you know, we said they're not solid, but semi on the same path trying to support each other. He's, he's there being a supportive partner through the birth. Mm-hmm. And then after that, it just, yeah, but I different was, viewpoints start just spiraling. And um, I was cry. more of meaning like between the, the mother and daughter that they weren't really that solid. Oh, um, heck no. Sh- Shia LaBeouf and, 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 and Vanessa, they were Vanessa. They were they were somewhat on the same page, but what you begin to realize is that when you face adversity, you re- kind of realize who is really on your side, who really is an ally. And I think that when they began to face adversity, you sort of realize that they were not right for one another, and they were completely uh, they were on two completely different pages, which was also kind of like a positive thing, where it was like, dang, good thing you guys didn't have the baby. No, I wouldn't go that far. I think that a lot of did you not see their relationship? It was not, I would not go that far. I think that what happened definitely caused more of a rift. I don't know. It brings out the truth, though. I don't know that they would not have made it. They might have still made it if they were like a parent. Like, I don't know that they should have not had the baby. Now, here's the thing they would have made it for the sake of the movie because it's the movie and that's how they want it to go. Okay, Blair. But nah, let's let's be real. Let's be real. Did I'm you not see real. all of his extracurricular activities and how yes, that none of that was of grief and depression? I'm not making excuses for him. Yeah, what he did was wrong, but I don't think that if they would have had the baby, he would have been doing that. That, but again, we don't know that mm-hmm. because there's things that well, happen. We don't know in that life. he wouldn't have done. No, I know, but there's things that happen in life, right? That sort of like shift you in certain directions, and I think that yes, them having a kid like was better for them or whatever right like obviously this got his life together you know yeah yeah him but, having a child made but, him clean right up. right yeah. but what if something happens and they now have a kid and he begins to spiral, spiral some other way? Yeah. there's all type of things that can happen in life right and what i'm saying is is that he just wasn't like the perfect partner for for her you know and i'm not saying that like he was wrong and she was right like they obviously no, no, no. had yeah, their yeah, own yeah. issues but i'm just saying that i don't think they were right for one another watching this film you know if it was real life i would have been like yeah i don't think that they had what it takes yeah i mean i don't necessarily agree with that i think we need yeah i mean you it know, just can't be a, a, a you know, horrible you think tragedy it's disney like no, disney it just, it just i feel you be- it can't be a horrible tragedy. And now we, they, yep, they shouldn't have had the baby. Like, no, <laughs> no they're I'm depressed. They're heartbroken. Have to... Something came out of her. It's no longer alive. It ain't going to be peaches and cream. I agree. But what I'm saying is, is that you have to, uh, I'm, I'm viewing like the whole thing, the whole picture. And I'm saying that like you have to find a positive. And I think that with them not having the kid, a lot of good did come, a lot of good came from it. Did it? I think so. Not for him. She... I feel mean? like he finally he obviously had a goal. There was somewhere he always wanted to go. He kept saying home. He kept saying home. Okay. Well, we're well, not going mean, to spoil yeah, it. I know, I but think he did that great. But and then her, I mean, uh, that's debatable. I think he I think he got a good deal. No. You didn't think he got a good deal? No. Mm. I think he took a cop out a little bit. Mm. But anyways, mm. you guys comment let us know what you think mm-hmm. uh we may revisit it then if we get some comments or something and and, and i'm just saying do a little deep dive mm-hmm. um but let's get into the ratings okay. so it was quite popular the young people of imdb went ahead and gave it a 7.1 okay fair 
And very fair. Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 76%. So that's also fair to me. Yeah, very fair. Um, but now for the rating that's most important, the slate rate. Mm -hmm. Let's get into it. Blair, one, two, five on originality. Um. Yeah, it's a toughie. That's tough. I was it's watching, tough, but it's not. But I know. <laughs> I w yeah, because I was even watching in the beginning, and I felt shades of uh, Rosemary's Baby, just a little bit. Um, obviously, the more realistic version, because you know Rosemary's Baby is obviously not real in any way, shape, or form. Spoiler for um, Rosemary, but you should. What seen do you it. mean? Rosemary's a classic. <laughs> I said it's a spoiler, but you should have seen it. Yeah, yeah. What do you? Yeah, from '68. If you ain't but, seen it by but, now, you're never gonna see it. Well, you um, spoiled it. <laughs> uh, I'll go ahead and I'll give it. A, I'll give it a three. Okay. Uh, one to five. Entertainment. On entertainment, I will give it a. I'll give it a. I'll give it a. Ooh, I'll give it a four. I'll give it a four. Okay, solid seven out of ten. All right, mm -hmm. you right with the people and the, yeah. the tomatoers. Yes. Um, originality for me, if this is tough, actually. Mm -hmm. um, in one way, I want to rate it high because we don't necessarily, from what I know, I haven't seen a lot of movies mm -hmm. uh, right where we have that tragedy hit. Mm -hmm. And then, well, I mean, yeah, you have movies that are dramatic, but... It's never about losing a child right yeah. away through this sort of home birth kind of route. I think um, I think sometimes too, it's also just the way they tell the story. Yeah, like the way the first way? thirty minutes yeah. was 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 interesting. You know. Yeah, it's kind of so, yeah. I don't know. I've seen much depends. of fil many films like this. Um, it's definitely not you know didn't try to rip anything off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go three point five. Okay. I'm going to go 3.5 on originality. Okay, that's fair. And then entertainment, the only knock is just dragging it out a little mm -hmm. bit. It was dry. Um, But it is a solid four. It's mm -hmm. very entertaining. Mm -hmm. um, so I got it a 7.5 out of 10. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm a little bit higher than the IMDb'ers and tomatoers, but... Um, nah, tomato was like seven, 76. Seven, oh, yeah, 76. 76. Yeah, yeah, so it's right um, there. Yeah, so definitely check out this film. It's worth yeah. the watch. Yeah, definitely. Um, We've said it's what the last two have been good, right? Mm -hmm. I'm your woman, pieces of I'm, a woman. Maybe woman. it's gotta have woman in the title. Gotta have woman <laughs> yeah. in the title if you wanna yeah. if, if you wanna watch a good movie. Yeah, because man, we on a little bit of a roll here. Finally, we getting that traction mm -hmm. um, with some good movies. But a seven mm -hmm. from Blair, seven point five from me. Mm -hmm. Definitely go check it out. Um, the next one we're gonna review, we don't know yet. We gotta go back to our. Uh, list and see what we're going to do but it'll definitely yeah. be something current mm -hmm. um blair notes before we close uh nah just um i thought that was solid and i didn't realize benny safty yeah. was in it until the credits started rolling and i was like wait what and that was then on me. yeah he was the the other husband his, his character was a little odd though yeah I was like, but it was just weird to see him in it because isn't he he's just like a director uh well he All acted right. uh in good time he was in that one Oh, I didn't see Good Time yet. You didn't check out Good Time. Okay. Um, he acted in that. Um, and then I think he is more of an actor than the brother. Oh, uh, okay. Interesting. Uh, okay. But yeah, they both direct, write, and all that stuff. Because, mm -hmm. um, you know, we did Uncut Gems. Yes, we did. And man, that was a little gem. Well, yes, it started it off good, the movies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then kind well, of that was because we saw those. Down. Those were in theaters. These type of films, like, I don't even think this would have came out in theater, even if the theater was open. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. So... But anyways, it's worth the watch, guys. Mm -hmm. Go check it out. Um, stay tuned for our next episode. Uh, on that note, it is the Slay Lays Gang. We are out. Yeah, even.